Well, Manchester United have reached the semi-finals of this competition five times in the last ten years. A decade that has seen Crystal Palace win promotion to the Premier League, get relegated again, go into administration and out of it again. Certainly has been eventful times for their fans who will be relishing being back on the big stage here tonight. Turning it forward again to keep the pressure on the championship side. They're in the bottom half of their own league table after last night's games in that division. On the back foot straight away here. However, they could break dangerously here with this very exciting talent, Zahar. Wolf, as he's known to everyone, at Selhurst Park. A bit of a rush of blood to the head then, but he is one to watch. He's a real box of tricks, quick and powerful. Well, if he just lifts his head up and well, he actually probably did, didn't he? Looking to his left-hand side, there's a player available, I think it was Scannell who was available, he goes the whole way, just too many touches, and then just tried to knock someone out in the top tier, but nevertheless, first little glint of positivity for Dougie Friedman, and he will be a bit of a handful for Manchester United. Great skill off from Zaha, great skill, go on, kid. He's done really well there, Wilfred Saha. Excellent control of the ball. I tell you, he does not lack confidence, and he's quite happy to show what he can do on the ball. Well, he did really, really well there. And we do well because the Palace keep possession. That's what they have to do. Keep possession. Do not give it away lightly. Keep almost did then. Let's keep the hit by Dean Moxie. And that's the win possession. Palace have certainly taken the game to their more illustrious opponents. Nathaniel Klein, another of their outstanding young talent, a 20-year-old who was their player of the season last season. And it goes again to Scannell. Republic of Ireland under 21 international taking on but failing to beat Lafayette. And Park there to defend for United. They're getting a taste of their own medicine. Zaha dispossessed this time. And Gardner's taken a risk there, and could pay for that against Valencia. Oh, dear. What a chance, what a chance, and he gets really lucky there, Anthony Gardner. And just tries to clip it between the legs of Valencia, and then here you think, OK, control. Composure goes for the far corner, and oh, he's a, just an inch away. Now, what a glorious opportunity. Now, that would have been a great start in the second half for Man United, and he's right. The goalkeeper got a little touch on it. Park. Valencia finds a route infield. And that's a clever ball for Morrison. Good save again from Price. Friars. Away by Gardner. Ah, oh, hits it long, Easter will keep chasing, but Smalling the favourite here. Well, I spoke about Lewis Price, and he done OK, but he's onside, isn't he? Klein plays Morrison onside here, and, yeah, super save by the goalkeeper. Made himself big, didn't let the ball cross him over the far side, and more importantly, clears his line. Morrison to Friars. Just overran that. Now Zahar's got a bit of green grass ahead of him here. And finds Ambrose. Not a bad effort! Oh, what a goal by Darren Ambrose! Absolutely stunning strike! And Crystal Palace lead at Old Trafford! What a goal. What a goal. Doesn't look any danger, that's 40 yards! Oh my word, Darren Ambrose! What a strike. Now, a little bit like Darren Gibson, we know that he can have a dick, but that is an absolute bullet by Darren Ambrose. Jason Park can't get the challenge in. That's still got plenty to do. Oh, my word, that's picking up pace. What a goal. Absolutely incredible strike from Darren Ambrose. Oh, oh, we we're did. about to see one of the big upsets of the season, Alan. Sorry, I was going to say, you know, Man United have been excellent in the second half, and albeit apart from scoring a goal, have completely dominated the game. Hang on a minute. It's Juf for United. We've now got to find two goals. Oh, and Pogba very nearly found one with an equally ambitious strike. Well, we can look forward to a really good 30-odd minutes here. 
because that goal has really had to put Manchester United right back into the game. Is that a corner? It should have been. I think it takes a touch. But the strike from Ambrose to separate, <laughs> absolutely unbelievable. Good work there from Friars. Morrison leaves it to Pogba. Gibson. Valencia. Oh, he just held it up there for Makeda, who twisted and turned and goes down, and it's a penalty. United given an early opportunity to equalise. Well, it's a good response from Manchester United. I thought the chance had gone for Duke. Little ball in the turn, McCarthy. Yeah, there it is. Pulls the jersey. And as soon as he does that, Makeda goes to the ground. Yeah, it's a penalty. Look where the referee is. Perfect position for Chris Foy. He sees the pull. It's an absolute stonewall penalty. Right decision. Great chance for Manu to get back into the game so quickly. Makeda earned the penalty. And now he will take it. This here we can look forward to a decent end to the game. This is going to hot things up perfectly for his lovely penalty, little half step, sends Price the wrong way. David Wright picks out Murray with a good ball. Klein. Here's Dukashu. Ambrose in a great position, but uh, that was a little greedy, if you like, on his part, but it's been given away again, this time to Murray. Well, oh, the fans at the other physic end must have thought that had gone in when they saw the net. Ripple. It was a real giveaway, wasn't it? A shot from Tekichu, and then I don't know where they are. And a strike for Murray. It was probably a really tight angle, though, wasn't it? He would have had to have done really well to sneak that in the near post. And still a day, must have full stretch. A welcome break for their defenders. Murray. Zaha. Still got those tricks in his locker, and that one through Park. And that's his favourite one. The right foot going behind the left leg. Jink. Completely outspots his Jason Park, and all of a sudden, the smile's back on the face, and a great chance for Palace here. It was just too good for you, is the cry from the Palace fans. It certainly was for Park then. Ambrose will take the free kick. Opportunity, I said, and it can only be offside. It's tight there, and it comes off. Yeah, I think it is Glenn Murray that gets it. You need a delivery here. You need a delivery that's going to put everybody under pressure. And it's into a brilliant position. Murray just behind Evans. He just doesn't get up enough, and I think it may even have come off his shoulder. But the delivery is a beauty. And Palace, incredibly, two one up in the extra time. Drop to Gibson. Oh, and that was so close. That's really unlucky by Darren Gibson. He hits this probably as clean as he can from the ball dropping from such a great height. Straight through the ball. Oh, he's very, very unlucky there. Just the wrong side of the post. It's a good skill, and he's unlucky. A team which has struggled for goals, remember? Five without scoring one. In recent weeks, five games, that is. I've got two against Manchester United, but Makeda can bring that back into the picture and misses. And he tries to call this round with the outside of his right foot. And he thought the opportunity had missed him. It's in between his legs, it's between the defenders. Just as well, they win the header, and he just thought it's like a half yard here. And oh, he just can't direct it on the target. Really good chance, just off McCarthy's said, Good little skill from Makeda, and then wrong side. Just on the defending of the Palace goal, I don't think Sir Alex will be happy with the way they've conceded that. It was a great ball in, but for Murray to be completely alone and directed onto target inside the six-yard box, he's not going to be happy with that. Oh, 
Ambrose has nearly produced a repeat performance of his goal. The flag has gone up for offside after that, but what a strike again by I nearly, Dan Ambrose. I nearly interrupted you there, Al, by saying, is he having a laugh? He's not hitting this, surely. Not only does he... Oh, oh my word. And Ben, Om ben Amos, rather, needs to make the same brilliant by Darren Ambrose. A couple of minutes remaining. Gibson, Valencia. Got his cross in. Oh, and cleared by Gardner from almost underneath the crossbar. Unbelievable, relentless pressure now. It's Gibson who hits one, and they just keep getting bodies in the way. Gardner again. Well, you forget about Palace getting over the halfway line here. They are set in for the end of the game here. Can Man United bash this door down and somehow, somehow take this to penalties? Incredible rear guard action here by Crystal Palace, but it's not over yet. Morrison on to Valencia, queuing up for the cross now. And it wasn't a good enough one. Urgency about everything United do at the moment. And that's a poor ball and a grateful clearance by Dukashu, the South African. And that's what we're saying. I think they've been too predictable, Manchester United. Just that middle of the park, just that little bit of extra class needed to try and make an opening for one of the front three or four. It's just not been there, has it? It'll be as difficult to break down the ten men, because that's what they've defended with, Palace. We're now in the final minute of extra time at Old Trafford. As Valencia takes United forward one more time. Oh. And one more time, Palace stay strong, but Park wins it back. Oh, it's great clearance. It really looked as though Juve was about to pull the trigger. And that could be the final chance for Manchester United. As it's not long towards the high, Emos comes out and heads clear. Incredible finale here at Old Trafford. Manchester United pull forward again. But Palace are close to glory. Valencia. One more run into the box. One more cross. And one more interception. And that surely will see Palace home and dry. It just will not fall to Redshot in that box. I thought Duke had a great chance on his left foot. He wanted it on his right. It just gave Clean a chance to clear the danger. What a finish of the game. Crystal Palace have beaten Manchester United. I'll say it again. Crystal Palace have beaten Manchester United at Old Trafford. Incredible scenes here. The club from South East London, from Croydon, have overturned all the odds here and sent their fans into joyous celebrations. An unbelievable night. And they join their fellow championship club, Cardiff City, in the draw for the semi-finals, along with Liverpool and Manchester City. Manchester United have been beaten at Old Trafford for only the second time in 43 games in all competitions. And Sir Alex, who said beforehand how fond he was of this competition and how seriously he takes it, will be devastated at this result. His young men have been derailed here tonight. All credit to Crystal Palace for a marvellous, heroic performance. And Dougie Friedman has written himself a very big headline here. It has finished after extra time. Manchester United 1, Crystal Palace 2.